Oh, hi. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm using StreamYard for the first time, uh, and it caught me off guard. It caught me by surprise. But thank you. Welcome. I feel so uncomfortable. I'm not using my regular computer. I don't like my lighting, but I had to get on here to talk about this red table talk with Gabby Hanna. Okay, listen, I have been, by the way, if you're new to my channel, my name is, you just call me Udo. I talk about whatever I want. Usually talk about my life and uh, making pseudo false promises to get my YouTube-ish together. But I also talk about things that get me hot, okay? I have been having kind of a life for the past however many days. Um, been trying to just focus on getting my life together before the new year. So I hadn't been paying super close attention to all the little dramas that I usually pay attention to. And uh, this YouTuber that I love, her name is Camelia. She has almost 9,000 subscribers. Check her out. But she does a lot of commentary and she commentated on Gabby Hanna at this Red Table Talk. Now, at first, I was like, Jada Smith invited Gabby Hanna? What? Like, why? Like, why? And then I saw what it was and I was like, who are these people? What is going on? Well, I don't really know what's going on, but I saw Perez Hilton on there. I'm like, Perez Hilton. Perez Hilton is like the keen star of 2007. I'm like, why is Perez Hilton on anything? I had to watch. So what I want to do is I actually want to play Camellia's video because I don't know. I don't know where to find the original video to just play. and We watch together and you, you feel my reaction. So Camellia, thank you so much. Shout out to you. If you like this kind of content, you will absolutely love Camellia. Okay. Now, remember, I'm using StreamYard. I never done that before. Um, how do I do this? Let's see. Let's see how I do this. Let's see if I can share. Let's see if I can share. Okay. We are sharing. Let me know if you like this format better. Okay. Than what I used to do. I don't know what I used to do, girl. But uh, let me know if this is better. Okay. So let's see. Here's the other thing I don't like about StreamYard. I can't pause. I can't pause my recording to make sure everything's right as rain before we get into it. So y'all are like literally sitting here watching this load button, load thing. This is a little embarrassing. Yeah, this is a little embarrassing. Um, could you work? Could you like please work? I'm sorry, I will shut up. <gasps> okay, it's working. Okay, here we go. Let's start. Has cancel culture gone too far? Everything I do is twisted. I've lost two record deals, friends, sponsors. Please, I love TikTok. I'm sorry, I will shut up. In the minds of the overwhelming majority. I am irredeemable. You sound like such a hypocrite. Yes, you a lot are. of people could say the same thing about you. No, that's just stuff. We're at Table Talk with the Escapons. And make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, this is Camellia's intro. Isn't it so cool? You're not immune and you keep coming back again and again. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you too. Okay, let's get into this mess. Because what these people are saying in here, I just have opinions. I just have opinions, and y'all about to hear my opinions, okay, um, about what these people have to say. Now, this Red Table Talk episode is all about cancel culture. Um, first, let me tell you my stance on cancel culture, right? Um, I don't think cancel culture is a new thing. I think that's just what we're calling it because it's on the internet and Twitter now and people say hashtag canceled and so um now older people have been hashtag canceled and they're calling it cancel culture can it be toxic of course like any mob mentality thing can become toxic but the point of it is to ask 
um, people with a lot of influence to be accountable to things that they've done or said that are problematic. Um, that does not mean everybody will forgive you. Okay. Um, you're not canceled unless you don't have a job anymore. For example, let me give you an example of somebody who actually got canceled. Hold up, hold up. Here's somebody who literally, who did get canceled. What's her name? Black singer. Mm, I don't remember her name. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is this it? Is this her? Girl, I don't know who she is. I don't know if this is her. Is this her? Chrisette Michelle. Chrisette Michelle was canceled. If you don't know Chrisette Michelle, she has an amazing voice. I was a fan. I was a, a fan of Chrisette Michelle. Beautiful woman, amazing voice. And she was unapologetically a Trump supporter. And she got canceled for that. So her sales went down. No, she, nobody wants her to sing. All of the stuff that she booked... Another example of a cancellation, the baby, okay? The baby is being, in my opinion, temporarily canceled. What does that mean? He was supposed to s perform at XYZ places no more, right? Because of something he did said. That's getting canceled. And cancellation doesn't have to last forever, right? Like already we're seeing, if you don't know what the baby did, Mm, the baby has done a lot of things. Okay. The baby, the baby is a hot mess. Okay. He might have a lot of money. He might have a lot of moolah. He might see my video be like trick. I can buy your whole life, but he doesn't have common sense. He doesn't have a certain sense. He is canceled. I think he will be uncanceled, meaning he will get to start working regularly again. Um, but as of right now, he's canceled. Cancellation doesn't have to last forever. Um, I don't think cancellation is your feelings being hurt. Um, I think people are confusing a lot of people messaging you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. A lot of those messages, that's called cyber bullying. That's called you're getting bullied. That's called you're being roasted. You're being drug. Okay, you're not canceled. If you still get to perform, if you still have your podcast, if you still have your Netflix show, you weren't canceled. You just had a whole bunch of people who don't like you. And that is very, that's that's kind of the life cycle of being famous, isn't it? I mean, um, I don't know what it's like to be famous. I can imagine like it's very nerve wracking. I would be having a lot of anxiety, but you're not canceled if you still have your platform friends sponsors please i love tiktok i'm sorry i will shut up in the mind a hypocrite a lot of people are we ready ladies i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we answer the same thing okay so fair warning i don't know who any of these ladies are okay i don't know who they are i don't know is it because i am too young is it because i am of a different culture i don't know if you know who they are please go ahead leave me a comment uh and educate us if you're open to that, because um, I don't know who they are, but I don't know. all right, well, let's Hello. get started. In 2021, the concept of can Gloria Estevan. Wait, 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 wait. Gloria Estevan. How did I not know that was her? Hold on, the Gloria Estevan. Gloria Estefan. Well, that is my bad. Oh, I get it. So Gloria Estefan has her family, just like Jada Smith has her mother and daughter on Gloria Estefan has her family on. Well, Gloria Estefan is an icon. If you don't know who she is, you better get known. You better get known. The first time and last time I ever been on a cruise, I won a karaoke contest. And as your prize, you get to dress up as an icon and sing their song in front of everybody on the ship and dance. And I was Gloria Estefan and I was singing I don't want to say this song. I do not want to be pull up into Sri Lanka. So I'm not going to sing the song and then have it turn out to be the wrong song. <sighs> the rhythm's going to rhythm's gonna get you. Um, I think, was that the song they sang? But anyway, I loved it. Okay. I loved it. I loved it. So she's an icon. Okay. Okay. So I know who y'all are. Cancel culture is everywhere. From our politics to pop culture. 
Some view cancel culture as a modern form of social justice, a way to hold others accountable for offensive words and actions past and present. Others feel that cancel culture is a dangerous trend led by online mobs. Who mm. Dangerous trend. I want to hear more about the danger part. But yes, yes to both. Yes to both. Like, you can't separate it. Um, when it comes to the internet, the, anything that was started with good intentions is going to have people who take it too far, point blank, period. Uh, prime example, body positivity. I like I like body positivity. Um, it makes complete sense to me. Uh, what doesn't make sense is when people are harassing others in the name of body positivity, right? Like harassing people who um, they, they're, they appear to be losing weight, harassing people who they're not big enough to skin. The, there's a lot of toxic things in body positivity that is not very body positive, but just the basic premise of it is wonderful. And most of the content that you'll see is, is it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. You know, if you're amputated, <laughs> there, there's all kinds of people. It's, it's all about whatever body that you're in. You don't need to hate yourself. You can absolutely love yourself no matter what your body looks like. And you're not an alien. Like if you had to have a double mastectomy, you're not a weirdo. You know, you are still a person of immense value. And then there's people who like, I don't know, they, they take, they take it to a whole different direction, but that's all of that is there. And, uh, the way they're going to talk about cancel culture, they're going to, some of these people are going to talk about it. Like it just needs to end or something or like, but it's kind of like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. We'll me. stop at nothing to silence anyone or anything they disapprove of. I and that's that's like that's always been like again, that's nothing new. Like if you disapprove of something and you like feel very passionate about it, you will you will fight for it. Like Hillary Clinton was really out here trying to cancel video games. You like, you know what I'm saying? Like the Republicans were really out here trying to cancel Dixie chicks for saying they don't like the president. Like this is not, this is not new. Okay. And I don't like when people act like it's new. I don't okay, like let's that. Keep going. I think personally it has gone too far. I think it's dangerous. I feel like accountability personally for me. And I want people to talk about why they think it's dangerous. I don't want, I don't like you just saying it's dangerous. Um, Please provide some examples. You know what I mean? Like you have your introductory sentence and then you have like your evidence paragraphs. You know what I mean? Then you have your conclusion. You know what I'm saying? And cancel culture oh, like are that. two separate things. I'm glad the world. No, 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 no. Here, here. I feel like accountability personally for me and cancel culture are two separate things. Wrong. Online is the same thing. Like you, you, you can't separate it. You can't, you can't separate. It's not like there's a camp of we're only accountability and there's a camp of we're only cancel. Like there's no, it is all the same. It is all people are messaging you, telling you, uh, I don't like what you did. And you can tell the different, you can tell when somebody is wanting you to be accountable to your actions. And when somebody is just uh, KYS, you know what I mean? I'm glad the world is changing and we need to hold people accountable for being racist or being homophobic. For example, in the case of somebody who has broken the law, maybe even, you know, an abuser of some sort, they need to be taken out of society to not be a threat, but that's not the responsibility of a 14 year old online. Yeah. No, it definitely is it. But the 14 year old online is going to know about it. And the 14 year old online for the first time in history has a voice, right? Like for the first time in history, you don't need to be a 39 year old news reporter to have your voice heard. For the first time in history, you can be 14, have an opinion and let it be known on your Twitter page. And yeah, you can do that. Like, yes. Yeah. 
the 14 year old is not responsible for taking down Harvey Weinstein, but the 14 year old has the right to say what Harvey Weinstein did is wrong and he needs to be put in jail. Yeah, but if you take them out, the biggest question is, do you forgive them? Do we give them a second chance? It just depends on the person, it just depends. It depends. Like, it just depends on the person. Human beings are gonna make mistakes. You've made mistakes, I've made mistakes. The danger is there that it's a broad yes. spectrum. Some people have been canceled for, in my opinion, things that they haven't even done. And I think that's true. I think, mm. And what does it mean to be canceled? Again, we need strong definitions because to me, being canceled means you have lost your platform. That's being canceled. Um, if you haven't lost your platform, you're not canceled. I mean, it's just very simple to me. So I don't know. Can I say people have been um, mob hated uh, for things they didn't do? Yes. Uh, rumor people have been, you know, harassed comments upon comments upon comments for stuff they didn't do. Like, remember Becky with the good hair? Do you remember that? Becky with the good hair, right? And everyone's trying to figure out who is Becky, who is this Be Becky, who is Becky? And like, there was some, <laughs> I don't know how they chose this woman. Like, her name was Becky, she had blonde hair and the beehive. Beyonce fans thought this was Becky with the good hair, and they just flooded her comments everywhere. B b b b b b b b b b l l l l like loser. And the woman was like, "I'm not." <laughs> the woman had to make a public statement. It's not me. <laughs> I only met Jay Z one night. <laughs> so, I feel like these are the type of people who feel like that's being canceled. You know what I mean? Like. I feel like they would be like, oh my gosh, she was canceled. She wasn't even the real Becky. And she wasn't canceled. Like the, the woman did not lose her job. Like the woman did not lose anything. She just like had a whole bunch of annoying comments. Not to say that people don't go. I'm sure she also got like weird stuff in her DMs. That's a problem. That's a problem. But she wasn't canceled. I, ha I just feel like these are the type of people who would be like, oh my gosh, you were canceled. Then there are people who deserve to not have a platform, but a lot of the time I think that they're kind of viewed possibly in the same kind of way. And okay, or they've been canceled for something they did 20 years ago. Right. The way she said that was so flippant. Like she was saying it like, doesn't matter because it was 20 years ago. That's not how she said it. Like, did you get that? That's how, that's, what, that's how I took it. That's how I took it. Okay. That's just how I took it. When things were different. Okay. I... Oh, when things were different, mm -mm, see, see, you, you gotta, you, can, can, are y'all keeping up with tone with me? Okay, because my partner, he is such a sweetheart, but he is the kind of person who gives way too much benefit of the doubt. Like, if I was, if my partner was on here right now, and I asked you, like, did you get that tone? Did you, did you get how flippant she was? He would be like, no. I don't think she's being flippant. She's just saying, you know, 20 years ago. I'm like, no, no, no. And then if you listen to the next thing she said, um, when things were different, you already know where you already know where it's going. You already know where it's going. Listen, it's giving very much uh Shane Dawson's humor was funny back then. It was giving very much, um, I'm just going to ignore all of the YouTubers who were calling out Shane Dawson even back then during the different time. Mm. Is giving very much, oh, Christopher Columbus can't be held to the standards that we have today. Is giving very much, uh, let's ignore the Native Americans who have been calling out Christopher Columbus since the day that he set foot on this land. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? History is written by the victors. I'm using Shane Dawson as an example because we're on YouTube and maybe that's what you get. Shane Dawson won. Shane Dawson was a victor. Therefore, Shane Dawson's narrative is what's written. What's written is, it was a different time. Now, flip it. Flip it to uh, Black people like myself who were watching Shane Dawson at that time. No, that wasn't normal to us. That wasn't okay to us. We were calling him out. We were calling him out, but we weren't the victors. 
we weren't the victor. So the narrative wasn't written. The narrative isn't Shane Dawson was highly offensive and that type of offensive, um, that type of offensive content gained him millions of followers. That's not the narrative. The narrative is it was a different time. Completely forgetting um, Shane Dawson tried to make movies back then and nobody wanted to act in his movie because his content was so offensive. Like that, like if people don't even want to want you to hire them because your content was offensive, then it was not a different time. It was offensive back then. Like, I don't know how many people need to have expressed back then that it was wrong for the narrative to be, it was wrong even back then. But people, when people, so when people say it was a different time, I, I immediately, like, I'm. It's, it's very sus of this woman. Like you are so sus to me. Like I no trust, no trust. No, no. You can't hold my drink while I go to the bathroom. No. I did twenty years ago. Right. When things were different. No, they so weren't. Are we really doing something that is helping the society? Mm, yes. Um, educating people, like educating people like you that actually it wasn't that different. Actually, here are the people who were speaking out against that even back then. And it wasn't really that different. They just were able to get away with it. That helps the community because that helps people to not let it happen today. People want to act like history is like some distant thing. You know what I mean? Like people want to act like human beings were just completely different creatures in the past. Humans are human, meaning humans will make the same mistakes over and over again unless they are taught this is a mistake that happens. Let's not do that. Right? Humans are human. Like, I, it, it doesn't matter if we're talking about people from the year 1542, if we're talking about people from the year 353 BC. Humans are humans. Humans do what humans do. been doing the same show El Gordo y la Flaca for the last 24 years and I can look back and say there are things that were now when I see it it was politically incorrect yeah okay so you don't do it anymore totally but it was the times I've been one <laughs> girl but you weren't canceled for it like there is <laughs> there are certain things that are so bad that I don't know. I feel like she's playing stupid. I feel like people play Watching stupid. this with a keen interest. And because just... you went through some kind of uh, cancel culture in 1997. I did. You know, mom, spill the tea. You got canceled. I walked right into a firestorm when I stood up for a woman who was let go from the county film board for expressing her opinion that artists from communist Cuba should be able to perform in Miami as the embargo states. <clears throat> I wrote a letter to the paper defending everyone's right to freedom of speech, even those whose points of view may not reflect our own. Yeah, girl, you're going to get uh, Americans are so um, incredibly paranoid of anything that remotely reminds them of communism. It's not even funny. And the first thing I write here is that let me clearly state that I am staunchly anti-communist. It doesn't matter, especially with conservatives. Okay. It, it, listen, this is not just my opinion. You might be conservative watching this like trick. <laughs> Excuse you. But yeah, I feel like conservatives in general um, are very paranoid of anything that even <sighs> was communism involved in any way. <laughs> it smells like it. Mm -hmm. Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, and and they're just, they, they, I feel like they just take things like so far. Someone's going to be like... <laughs> Well, what about liberals? Yeah, what about liberals? Okay, go ahead. Put in the comments. What about liberals? Go ahead. Go ahead. A guy got a steamroller and steamrolled my CDs. I got trashed, dragged, they call it now, right? That's a new mm -hmm. word. lingo, mom. Girl, I just learned that this week. But were you canceled? See, this is what I'm saying. They don't know what it means to be canceled, right? You're getting drugged. You're getting dragged. You're not canceled. Saweetie right now, Saweetie is getting dragged. Do y'all know who Saweetie is? Um, I re Listen, if you want to call me a hater, call me a hater. Okay, I'm a hater. I'm a Saweetie hater. I, I like Saweetie. I respect her. Um, I admire her hustle and everything. Um, but I am a hater of her performances. Hold on, hold on, girl. Saweetie is currently getting dragged. 
for these performances, okay? Losing her breath. She does one hair flip and she's like, what's in my cut in my bundles? Uh, bundles and bundles and bundles. No dancing. Like there's dancing, but it's like drunk girl dancing. It's like, did you prepare? We know you prepared. We know you practiced. You're, but mm, you weren't, you weren't ready. You didn't need to dance. Forgetting her own lyrics. She has a DJ. Look on this stage. Look how on this stage she has a DJ. Oh, not this stage. On this other stage, she has a DJ who, who people were complaining in the comments. Oh, the DJ needs to shut up. The DJ needs to um, stop talking. But the DJ is trying to help Saweetie because Saweetie forgot the lyrics. Okay, what I'm trying to say is Saweetie is getting drugged for her awful performances. She's not canceled. You get what I'm saying? When Colin Kaepernick took a knee. And the conservatives took so much offense. Do you see? Do you see why I feel like, how I feel about conservatives? Like a dude's knelt down, and um, they have they're having a whole cultural crisis over there on the right. But Nike uh, started promoting Colin Kaepernick, and uh, so they were setting fire to their Nike shoes. It's like okay, Nike's not canceled. It's just people don't like Nike for that time like it's not canceled see people don't know people don't understand like cancel being canceled especially if you're a small like if you don't have a strong fan base a strong career is very scary to actually be can being canceled is being blackballed it's like back during the red scare if they thought you were a commie you're canceled you're blackballed you're on the list you don't work nowhere no mo that's scary. That sucks. What happened? I mean, people steamrolling your CDs. Oh, that also sucks. But you still get to sing. You still get your career. You still get to perform. You still get to live life as you know it another and day. It was local. Now it's worldwide. For a long time, people have been doing this to other people. It's not something new. But it has evolved and changed with the internet. Okay, but I don't understand what happened to Gloria Stefan. Why is that considered being canceled? Like, what were the Yes, girl. Like, me and Commit, like, mm hmm. We on this yeah. wavelength. Perez Hilton in the early 2000s. Perez Hilton is a. Let me hold my tongue. Let me hold my tongue. Perez Hilton is Keemstar. They could be related. They could so be related. Paved the way for today's online mobs. As the man behind Hollywood's most hated website, Perez made a name for himself by urging his followers to cancel scandal-plagued stars like Britney Spears and Lindsay Lohan. It's not that he uh, was trying to get people to cancel. the, And he was so... I'm not even going to get into it. But it's not even that he was trying to get them canceled. He was trying to get them harassed and bullied he, he was trying to get them to be as widely and publicly shamed as possible for things that are not a big deal for things that oh my gosh did you see someone so has a belly page <laughs> like for things that don't matter or none of your business or like like who cares and he would even and nobody was off limits he would do this with children like he, he's done it to like literal child like Oh, teenagers? Not, like, even younger. In 2010, he had a change of heart and vowed to stop attacking. And yeah, because, because so many people were against him and trying to cancel him. Okay? People are trying to cancel him. People started making fun of him. People stop going to his blog. People are going to now there's more blogs that aren't disgusting and so vindictive like he was. And he was losing his coin. He was losing his coin. So he, he said, I had a change of heart. He didn't actually have a change of heart. He hasn't changed. You'll even hear it. You'll hear it. He hasn't changed. Insulting celebrities on his blog. Welcome, Perez. I'm sure a lot of people are going to know you that are watching this show. And a lot of people are probably going to be angry at you. Me? Yeah. For Bring it, me, baby. Giving me a platform. And that very well may be true, but changing <clears throat> this dialogue and moving forward, the importance of having you here is 
for you to speak if you've contributed to this world and now how are you going to contribute to changing it what he's not going to do nothing to change it um he is who he is like if a snake bites you, don't ask why. That it's a snake. What do you consider yourself when it comes to the industry? I consider myself an entertainer. I, I wouldn't say I'm a journalist, although I do take what I do seriously. Do you know that's exactly what Tucker Carlson says? Cop out answer. Seriously. But for example, like there were human beings on the other side of your stories, and we have to call a spade a spade yeah. here. Yeah. You said some. Oh, pretty absolutely. hurtful things. Did you feel powerful when you did those things? That word power to me. It Baby, he's about to. Do you hear the the? You hear the? Do you smell it coming? Do you smell what the Perez BS is cooking? I don't even want to play it. I don't even. Want, I want to press skip. I want to skip. I want to skip. Just see my face as we play it. But um, yes, it did make him feel powerful. It's very much. I don't remember what show was I watching where. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's called The Good Place. And um, it's basically about these people who are have passed on and now they're like in a purgatory type of place and they're trying to figure out how do I get to basically heaven. And um, this one lady, she was friends with somebody who was very obviously supposed to be Perez Hilton. And like at the end, he was like, I realized that I've been bullied my whole life and like getting to have like power over these like really rich famous people and getting to make them feel as bad as I was made to feel. I realized that it made me feel powerful and I don't want to be that way anymore. Like, and he said this before, I think he's admitted this before, but now on the show, he wants to be like that word power. I don't know her. Okay. That word power just, it's just <laughs> ever resonated because that would imply that I can force people to do things and I can force. Do you see, you see this? Nobody effing said that you can for, mm -mm. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really only, actually, let me just remove these headphones. I don't want to hear this part again. Force people to think a certain way. Uh, I could have influence, but I'd like to view it more like opportunity. Okay. I have the opportunity to share and people have the opportunity to receive. Seriously? Yeah. I viewed what I did as shining the light. I'm shining the light on. I mean, you're shining the light on. Oh my gosh, she has a gap tooth. One of her teeth's cooking. <laughs> she shouldn't have a career because of that. Celebrities that get it right and those that get it wrong, those that are behaving badly. No, that's not what you did. That is not what you did whatsoever. I can't believe he t he like is saying this with a straight face. I see, at your big age. Look at, look at this man. Because before he was young. So it's like, okay, you're young and stupid. At your big age. See your life. And in your mindset, did you think maybe, oh, well, they know what they signed up for. That's one of the many talking <sighs> points that I would. Gabby's Hannah's little face right there just looks so stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that just looks so silly to me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The, the girls are going to get it and the girls are now down. Tell my brain to program it oh. to justify my behavior. I was a dr mm. and attention was my dream. Mm. I knew what I was doing was bad yes. and I kept doing it and I kept being rewarded for it. And by the way, okay, a little bit of honesty. I appreciate that. I think that's one of the big issues with social media. And Honestly, actually, yeah, because with this cancel culture, what has come about that really annoys me that people don't really talk about. And um, I am like a super small channel. So like, I'm not going to inspire people to start talking about this, but I call it fake wokeness. Um, is people who pretend to actually care. So let's say, um, I don't know. I don't know, girl. There's so many examples of people being fake woke. Tr Trisha Paytas is somebody who was trying to be fake woke. Why? Because they saw the type of attention you can get for leading a cancel culture mob. So if you love attention and you see that you get rewarded for something with likes and views and stuff, then it does behoove you 
to pretend to give a damn about something. Okay. And I call that fake woke because sooner or later, your lack of wokeness is going to be exposed. Um, Trisha Paytas is an example. Angelica Oles is another example. Uh, there's a lot of examples. Jesse Smollett. He's a pretty good public example of that. And the kids that are getting on it, because we all crave attention and we all crave acceptance. Right now, acceptance is likes. Perez was getting plenty of those likes on TikTok until late 2020 when he was banned from the site. I feel like my world is crumbling. He suddenly found- I mean, good for you. Like, did I literally just say good for you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, that's not nice. <laughs> Um, they're not going to give you the real reason he was banned. Um, they're not being for right in this interview. I'll just say like, he, he deserved it. Now, does it suck to, so being, ba being banned is a form of cancellation and I'm sure that sucks. Um, I just like, you know what you, you know what you do, my guy, you know what you do, you know what you Put do himself on the other side of the cancel a snake, a snake bites. You don't need to ask why a snake just bites culture coin and begged TikTok to reconsider. Get on the phone with me and talk to me. TikTok again on no, 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 listen, baby, why did he make this video? What you talking about? Get on the phone with me. Tell me who TikTok began on the phone. TikTok don't begin on the phone with baby. Baby. Who told you to post this video? Please. Who, whoever told you that, they're not your friend. They're not your TikTok, friend. TikTok, anybody. But the ban remains in effect. What did you do? On Good. the app, you know, they have this thing called the For You page where random videos pop up on your feed. I saw this video because she was and still is the most followed person on TikTok, Charlie D'Amelio. At the time, she was just... I like how she looks at her mom like, do you know who she is, mom? 15 years old. <laughs> I saw this video of her on the beach in a bikini dancing what I thought was to a song. Uh, yeah, I can see how that could be interpreted that way. And let me tell you, I agree that TikTok is like really, um, it's really gross. I agree that it's like, it is a pea bears uh, playground. You know, like if I, if one were to be a Pedialyte, one would most certainly be on TikTok. Um but I also think that's just so weird. Like, that's like if, you know, you know, when, especially in the black, I don't know how it is in other communities, but I know in the black community, if a little girl is wearing something that is seen as too short or too low cut, they will blame the girl. Like they will harass the, the little girl. And I, I just think that's so disheartening. Like this is a kid just enjoying life. Like they're literally enjoying life. And because there are disgusting adults out there, you're going to rain on this kid's parade, you know, like instead of trying to harass a kid for dancing and having fun on the beach, go and harass TikTok. The way you're pleading TikTok, you can call me, you can, the way you're pleading to TikTok, go and harass them to to remove videos of that nature. Uh, that's my opinion. I think raining on the kids parade is not the answer. It's not the way. Um, asking the platform to have certain guidelines. I think that's a better way. I think it's more effective as well. Um, with very explicitly sex lyrics about having sex. Yeah, I gotta say. Um, it makes me feel super uncomfortable, the songs that go viral on TikTok, because on my For You page, I don't get kids popping up. I don't even, I don't get Charlie D'Amelio popping up. 
I get what I like popping up, okay? Which is adults. I like listening to <laughs> adults. But yeah, like sometimes a very X-rated song is viral and it's adults on my For You page, but then I know it's kids on here. Remember that song? Can you, can I be your sneaky leak? Uh-huh, I want the dun 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 and when I want that sticky icky, lubby dubby dubby dubby. Remember that video that went viral of like this mom? She was playing the song, and then all the little these were little kids. All of them knew it. They were singing, "Ah, can I be your sneaky link? I don't care what the f you think." <laughs> and she was like, "No, no, no! Stop the music!" But like. Yeah, it's kids on this app doing the trend that you think is grown and sexy. And you're like, oh, I'm feeling myself today. Let me film this TikTok. It's little kids doing the same thing. And that's so gross to me about TikTok. So what I said, which I do not regret, I would have rephrased it now. Okay. Was, is this appropriate? I should have maybe. That was the question? But mm -hmm. didn't you also call her like bland? She's very girl next door. Bland, basic, boring. Mm. That's still a 15 Thank you for girl. calling him She's out. A child, you know. Did I, you I, do it for the views? No. Because she was like. Why Gloria just intro? He was about to answer a real question. <laughs> Laura, why you do the that? Number one. Calling her bland. Or, or asking that question. No, just getting oh. in the fray. Um, because no, it was a, it was a specific question that I had, and there was like a petition okay. to get me banned. And yeah, because you do more stuff. Perez Hilton is scary, plain and simple. He is currently forty two years old. I don't know what his big age, and attacks young teenagers fifteen years old for wearing bathing suits. He is probably yeah. I mean, yeah, like it's not illegal for a kid to dance. It's not illegal for a kid to wear a bathing suit. I understand how problematic it is. And I understand why it's problematic because they're disgusting people who will take that content and and do something with it. Um, that's not the kids. I don't think that's the kids' problem. I just like you wouldn't you would never go up to her if you were on that beach in real life. You would never go up to her and be like, "Do you think that's a problem?" You wouldn't do that. Like you would just see kids are having fun and leave them alone. I just was viewed as the enemy. Yes, you will always be viewed as the enemy because you have enemy mentality. And where, where does this happen? This change.org. I do think it's interesting, though. A lot of people, both old and young, think that having an opinion that might not be positive is bullying. This is very interesting. But you do bully. Ah. Uh, I don't know if that one question is bullying, but you're very mean, Perez Hilton. Like, you you really just going to sit there and pretend like you don't do that. Like, that's what you do. And he's going to out himself. He's going to out himself in a second. Watch. Being left out here. Were you bullying school? I was for being fat, actually. What did you learn from those dark moments in your life? I wasn't aware of it at the time. But the whole birth of Perez and so much of what I did and still do was a reaction to my childhood trauma. Now yes. I realize I was kind of wielding a sword and I just mm -hmm. wanted to wield the sword because life had been so unkind and unfair to me. But a sword can really hurt people. So remember when they asked you earlier, did you feel your blog gave you power and you were acting brand new? Now you're actually giving us the answer. Like, you could have just said this the first time. At the height of his blog's popularity, Perez was infamous for outing closeted gay celebrities like Clay Aiken, Lance That's Bass, crazy, and Neil really. Patrick Harris before they were ready to come out to the public. Oh, okay. <laughs> Camilla's like, oh, yeah, they left a lot of stuff out. <laughs> okay. That that was your, like, like permission, permission to out, to out people, people that were gay that didn't come out? No, that's just f***ed up. I never understood how you as a gay man could put anybody in that situation. Yes, awesome. thank you for saying that. Oh, I love her. Yes, that is fucked up. Were you like, outed? I don't understand that. I was outed awesome. by a family member. Okay. But... To the family. Yeah. Now, to the so the I was outed to my family, too. And I can tell you, if somebody did that to the public... 
Do you have done yeah, that to me? It sucks to be oh, added to girl. your family. To answer your Doesn't question, yeah, no, please. <laughs> I knew what I was doing was wrong. Mm-hmm. I would tell myself all these mantras, all these talking points to, you know, being that drug addict. Well, I'm going to do this because of that. So Rationalize. I would, I, yeah, I would say things like, well, I'm just sharing with my friends online what my friends in private talk about. So, yeah, your friends in private are catty, mean, and they're this, and they're being catty and rude and mean in private because they feel comfortable. You you are taking it public. Like what is said in private is supposed to be private. They're saying it in private because they know if they do it in public, it's wrong. You see how he out himself? He... Why should I treat oh my, God, but... my public friends any differently than my private friends? They're not your friends. They're the audience of these people. I want to... Why are you... Why are you... What is that? What is that? What? what... <laughs> I don't... Uh, I want to address this with you because last week we had Lauren Hodegi at this very table. To talk about oh, she's so the pretty. online abuse of women, and your name came up, bro. And- Perez Hilton. See, up to the up to Fifth Harmony, like his website got not shut down, but like, like nobody was going to it for a while. Like as early as the twenty tens, my guy. Why do you do this still? One like, of the things why? that bothered her the most was like, what is wrong the with photo you? that you tweeted, because it was. Why are Fifth Harmony fans being so extra over this photo of Lauren in red kissing another girl? NBD, I don't know what that means. Almost forcing her to come out. So was this a private photo? Because if it's a, yeah, rep- a leaked photo, this is a leaked photo. And look what he, look what he gonna say. Let's watch it. To the look, point of the look coming what he about out to thing. say. I wasn't ready. I didn't know, because I'm also Latina. Yeah. You know, so there was that looming thing of like what is my community gonna feel about me and my immediate family knew but it was like in news so you were outed to the public yeah i felt really violated yeah i don't view myself as outing her see what i mean like he hasn't changed you want to plead and beg with tiktok they don't need to talk to you you are showing that you deserve to be banned because you do this you can't help yourself you even to this day at your age you are still, whatever delusions that you told yourself back then, that you're talking, oh, yeah, back then I used to think, duh, 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 duh. you still have it. You just, you, you just are who you are. Like that I'm picture. Just, so the, probably to the day you die, I'm like, but you are almost midway through life. If you haven't changed by now, um, that's just who you are. And, uh, that was in the photo booth. She never intended for that to get out. That's a shame. For especially young women, sexuality is so fluid. What, Girl, is your awesome- what is that supposed to mean? What do you talk? What do you, my, get him out. Like, bro, if this was my show. <laughs> yo, play, go cry more. Go, actually, just leave the table and go cry that you can't be on TikTok because of your nonsense with you i'm so serious you can't say you're so serious what are you talking about like and a male oh well gay man it's different like oh Oh my my god God. thank you what this guy what girl baby and when i tell you this is just the tip of the iceberg of perez hilton when i tell you he is literally keem star he is keem star i'm sorry out with women and don't identify as Difference. There's a lot of women who will make out with that's, women and don't identify so as. And uh, there's a lot of dudes who get sloppy toppy from other dudes and don't identify as gay. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? What do you What are you saying? And and a lot of people. Like, what are you saying? So you recognize when you out a guy, you recognize us, you recognize that you're outing him. But when you do it to a woman, you don't recognize it because you think, because you are assuming that what is wrong with people you? People in society will look at two women together and they don't legitimize our relationship because they're like, oh, girls make out with girls. It's just a college phase. Oh, yeah. Girls together are hot. Like, which is what you're doing right now. I think a, you can't. Sexuality like, is very, for a lot of but women. But you're a man. You're not. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think sexuality is for women. <laughs> it, doesn't, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter. Even, even if it's fluid, even if somebody is fluid and they're heterosexual, showing them do, doing something like that, it's still a very touchy subject. And you know that, like, that's what I don't understand. Why do people play stupid? You, you are part of the LGBT. You know that it's touchy. You know what you're doing. And you can't 100%. speak to a woman's experience. That's not fair. I am so glad. Dude, I just shared the photos I, that were already trending. See, okay. Listen. As a gossip blog, I understand why he shared the they shared the photos. They're already trending, okay? I it makes logical sense. But do you have to actually defend it like that's how you base your morality? Do you get what I'm saying? Like corporations do bad things all the time, morally objectable things all the time. But do you as a human being have to like defend it like it is moral just because that's what is done? You see, he hasn't changed. It's not like, ooh, you I got this You just hopped on the train and took advantage so that you would get more. And he's trying to act like if he did get the exclusive photo, he wouldn't share. You would have shared it either way. It's like, there's no scenario that that photo is available to you and you're not sharing it. So, like, why, why are you even playing this little game right now? Our views and followers. Yeah. Here, you see, that's what basically, like, like, let her figure it out herself. It kind of goes back to just, like, the nature of what I do or a show like El Godri La Flaca. What do we do? Okay, what? tell you me. You don't I post it. You wait for her to speak. Line. That has nothing to do with her career. Okay, yeah, wait, it's wait, a wait. story. Wait, Why wait, do you wait. have to Now okay. we know the story, but as an entity, as a show, if we get a picture from Lauren, we would have done exactly but the that's same. that's up. That's my point. Was- yeah, like, you, you, you can explain what your brand does. You don't need to defend it like it's morally correct. <laughs> Private. It was taken How? from her. Like, geez, like, like at, le- at least admit that it's not right. Like, can you at least do that? Like, you you did it. Yes, you did it. Can you at least show that you have some human sensibility about you? Right. Like, that picture was because private. it was known that it was a private family photo. Did you know that? No, it was at a wedding. Shut I up. Was at a- shut the f- Dude, shut up. You could tell he's lying. Yo, I'm not a body language channel. I've always wanted to. You can tell he's lying. It was on it was social media. media for things like their sexuality. I'm, I'm skipping there because this is, he's very annoying. He's very life. annoying. Like, have- I've been talking for almost an hour about this very annoying man. Like, I never want to. Oh my gosh, this man. People who put flags in the sand and say no. Okay, I'm but then you're talking else. about censorship or what are you saying? I'm not talking- no, mama. Mama, you know what she is saying. She's not. She's not saying censorship. She's saying human decency. I'm talking about censorship. I'm talking about we have somebody right here who right. has done damaging things to a lot of people and has been on the other end of receiving hate. I've accepted that in the minds of the overwhelming majority, I am irredeemable. Okay. Uh, 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 as you should. As it should be. Yes, and? Okay. Mm. There is nothing... I could ever do change, grow, evolve, mature. There, there's no grow. There actually is growing, changing, and evolving that you could do. We just see after how many years that it's not possible for you. Yeah. Her to make things right with my past. That is correct. That is correct, shoddy. Like, not even if I donated all of the money that I've made over the last years, if I gave it all away, they would say, okay, that's nice. It still doesn't erase his past. Or, that's great. He's still a deep. Yeah, because you're just doing it to hear what people say. If you were doing it because that's what you genuinely feel you need to do, then that's great. And it doesn't matter what people say. If you're doing it because you're trying to look like you're redeemable, that's the problem. You're trying to appear as if you're redeemable. You're trying to, please, TikTok, give me a phone call at least. And that's not the problem. It's just you. You the snake that bites just because that's what snakes do. Bag or what an idiot. I can't believe he gave away all of his money. I do believe that a lot of people view cancel culture as a form of entertainment. That's true. I don't know if this is like an unfair 
cancellation of him. If he's someone... Girl, I you don't even know, girl. Guy. Okay. You don't Some even know, girl. That- People have been trying to cancel this man for how many decades? Abby Hanna skyrocketed to fame in 2013 and has consistently made headlines for online feuds with other social media influencers. Yo, this is about to be a trip. You ready? You ready for this trip right now? Those feuds have escalated to online mobs calling for Gabby to be canceled. Fans of her rivals have even started a petition similar to the one that led to Perez Hilton's (laughs) TikTok ban. I'm just kind of laughing that Gloria Estefan learning about change.org. You know how many, there are like a million bazillion petitions on the website. It doesn't really mean anything. Gabby, who's also building her music career, says this has devastated her both personally and professionally. No matter what I say or do, everything I do is twisted. Welcome, Gabby. Hello, this table's on fire, you. woman. It's Hello. on something. Hello. Oh my God. Hey, Gabby. Hello. I'm absolutely just aching back there. You should have just come on out. Well, I, I wanted to. This comfort in the sand. I was trying to be respectful. Well, First of all, I cannot tell you how honored I am to be here with everyone at this table. Well, um, thank you. I am obsessed with you so much. Everything that you're saying. I at least like, someone is. <laughs> no. so, I feel like you're speaking out of my journal. Like everything that you've been saying about the picture, because you are absolutely correct. It's the equivalent of if somebody starts a rumor in high school and it's kind of gossip among the mean girls, and then somebody takes the overhead. Bullies high school bullies and announces it to the entire high school and then the principal sends a new gabby did not high come school. to play like she <laughs> so validation and for you right. you yeah. had the gabby show would you have posted that picture <clears throat> absolutely not my content doesn't revolve around other people like look at my top unless unless you said something that made her cry the other day then she'll make a whole expose about you videos like i'm making content about myself and people who made you mad i would never want to make my name on i was gonna say no offense but yes offense i would never make my name on someone else's why do we but your all of your last videos are totally about that on a tv show i think that if it's something involving somebody's sexuality or anything involving anybody's personal life i personally don't think that the media has to say anything about anyone hi editing me i don't i don't remember what she said I just want to feel so mean, like skipping through, <laughs> skipping through her thing. But I just, I just want the video to react to it. Um, get ready for Gabby Hanna to continue to um, be a total hypocrite. Uh, damn. Swung her sword at. To Wait, did I scroll too far? Oh, wait a but second. See, but these kids now. <laughs> I can't a drastic shift in culture. We do love talking about celebrities as if they're characters. Humanity is completely out of the window. And I say this as somebody who obviously had a really great life online, but it's just, we have to start looking at humans as humans, first and foremost, of a lot of different kinds. That's how I like to identify. That's what makes me feel good. And I like to spend most of my days creating. I started this when nobody knew what social media was. And I was 22 years old. I just came out of college. And I remember telling people, I'm going to be a Viner. And people said, that's not a thing. And I said, it will be. (laughs) So I kind of dove into it without really understanding what that meant. And that's also when I didn't work through anything in my life yet. And I had so many mental issues going on. And I had- It's so crazy to me how people's maturity path is. Everybody's maturity path is different because I remember being her age just out of college and like now knowing, you know, some of the personal dramas that she's had with people, you know, like, you know, personal fights and and kind of the the stuff that you're not hearing on T channels, but they're made public, but it's not like the person she was beefing with at that time isn't big enough to make it to a a T channel. It's kind of hearing the kind of stuff that she was doing, it's like, man, like, by the time I graduated college, I was ready to just, like, be an adult. Um, I kind of, obviously, this is my opinion. I don't know Gabby Hanna personally, but I just kind of felt like her life after college was very much, like, just an extended high. College was extended high school, and life after college was extended high school. And it could very well be because she 
um, is her job with social media. So she is surrounded by literal high schoolers. Like that's, that's people who she's not working with people in college and high school. Um, and I know, I know in LA, um, there's kind of that mentality, like grown people kind of acting like they're still in high school. It's very awkward. It's very weird. So that probably is what influenced her. But I just remember myself, I was just so ready to like, I was so ready to um, have my own health insurance, pay taxes. Um, <laughs> I was just so ready to just literally like live like a real adult. So much past trauma. I was trying to figure out who I was. I was like, 22 years old, like but now everyone. here I am and I'm 30. And there's so much of my life online and so much of my energy and my privacy that people now have access to. Just to be fair to Gabby, like I do understand that. Mm -hmm. Personal. Yeah, so it's just really interesting to think about how when I got my first when I before, like what her maturity trajectory was. It's the um I just feel like it's different than how it is for a lot of other people. See, these children. I, I was in 10th or 11th grade when I got my first cell phone. We had limited text messages. Mm -hmm. These kids are on their phone all the time. And what happened in the pandemic is they scary. have nothing to do but be on their phones. Accessing every part of each other's lives. Everything is digital. I went to the internet because I had a really hard time socializing in real life. I had a hard time making friends. And then all of a sudden I'm on the internet and I have all of these followers who think I'm cool and I'm the popular girl. So I wake have up. this addiction? That oh. So she kind of felt like Paris Hilton. There's a connection. Because I know what that feels like. I also um, got on the internet because uh, socialization in real life is just, it's just a different monster for me. And when you get into a niche community where you are considered cool, um, that feels so good. Not that I ever had that. Actually, I've never had that. Okay. I've never had that. But I can, I remember having online friends who did have that. And if, I'm like, I bet that feels really cool. Um, Perez mm, talked about it. Absolutely. Yeah. But what upset me is when I was back there is I was really eager to hear what you had to say. And it feels like you can't take accountability at all from <laughs> kind of like yo. where I'm sitting, like hearing you speak. It sounds like you have no idea what you're saying. You, you sound like such a hypocrite. What's crazy about Gabby Hanna is she is able to see, like, she's able to see in other people so clearly the exact things about herself that she can't see. Like, that just boggles my mind. Like, it blows my mind. Oh. <laughs> Pony your account of praise or not. You're like, you can just shut your mouth and that'd be cool. To, but you know, you don't have to say anything about anyone. Like you can just shut your mouth and that'd be cool. Go too. off. <laughs> Go off. A lot of people could say the same thing about you. I like also go off. <laughs> Perez. Perez was like unbothered. Like the same to you, sis. <laughs> Many people have come forward accusing you mm -hmm. of very hurtful, toxic, yes. cruel things. Yeah, and people baby. can do their own research. And if uh, Perez literally unbothered, Liter Perez Hilton, I never thought a day in my life I would ever be on your side about anything. Literally unbothered. I'm so sorry, but Gabby, you are on point. You are not the one. Great message, wrong messenger. Because if the messenger can be bang banged with the same weapon the messenger has, if the messenger can be bang banged with the same message the messenger is delivering, the message will not be received. The, the, the message will not be received. If they do, which you'll see, there's nothing there. I there's nothing there. Baby, we have hours of footage of what's there. We have hours of commentary of what's there. Now, G Gabby Hanna really thought she came here to eat. Uh, she needs to give us that plate. 
she needs to give us that plate because she's not eating. I never intentionally got into the drama community. The drama community got in. Baby, you never intentionally got into the drama community, but once it was brought to your doorstep, you fully reveled it. You please do not please do not act like you are not on a whole Instagram live talking about how you are causing drama on purpose because you like the power. Please do girl. And to me. <laughs> oh yes, there's a lot there. Joey goes a lot. But also is with phone. It's too much. Both of these people are there's too much there is too much lore to get into. I feel like be research and some keep trying stuff how to talk yes girl if you go to camille if you go to Camille, if you go to, if you go to her video she she's she is just touching the tip of the iceberg like it's just too much it's too much like like i just have to summarize perez as keemstar i have to summarize gabby hannah as trisha paytas series of emotional videos a a more intelligent, mm, a more, that's it. Before deciding to take a break from social media and walk away from her millions of subscribers. Every no, she didn't walk away. Like, she's coming back. Everybody's she always comes back. She never walks sorry away. I decided that I'm like this monster combative. Yeah, because you are. Person. Yeah, you are. Because you are like you are. What what these what I want to understand? Which I wish I could understand how their brain works. They're like people just think I'm this, but it's like because you are like I don't understand. Like you recognize how people see you, um, and it's because that's literally how you are behaving. Created like, a version. It's not it's not just coming out of nowhere. It's not coming out of rumors. It's coming out of literally what you are showing, what Henry, you're putting online. Real. And it okay. felt like everyone in my actual real life, not the people who pretend to know me based on whatever interaction they've had. They said, right. So she's here. That qualification: people who actually know me, not people who pretend based on an interaction we had. So basically, anybody who's had a negative interaction with her don't actually know her. Okay. So everybody from the Escape the Night cast that had a bad interaction with her, they don't actually know her. They don't actually know her. The only people who actually know her are the people who um, like her in real life. Say It feels like the people on the internet literally think you're the opposite of who you are. And I- You probably behave the opposite of who you are on the internet. Wanted to prove them wrong. Like I just wanted to show them- Or you behave the opposite of who you think you are. Like the, the person- that your loved ones love, that's not what you're showing online. And that's not what you show to many other people. You expect other people to treat you the same way your loved ones do because your loved ones, they know you, they know your quirks, they, they know, oh, she said X, Y, Z, but she didn't mean it. Your loved ones know that. Um, acquaintances, um, friends, and especially people online, we don't know that. So we are not going to give you that grace. We're going to expect the same decency we expect from anybody else. Who I was, but that's where the ego comes in is I cared so much still about what other people thought of Still me. now? No, not now. But like yeah. at that point when I was like making those videos and trying to defend yeah. myself and tell my side. I'm and you really just made it share. worse. So like if I'm sad, I like talk about it. Like I post about it. When I show them that I'm hurt, it hurts more when people pick it apart. And like tell me that I'm like faking or that I shouldn't be feeling this way or whatever, or that I deserve it. Okay, this is very valuable. It's important that we show the ultimate thing that can happen Consequences. with popularity. Through the course of this, I've lost two record deals. I've lost. I, I mean, literally her own. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you don't know the Gabby Hannah lore, um, you might be lost, but it's um, literally her own fault. Friends, opportunity. And at least one of those record deals, she declined it herself. He's my, my knowledge, allegedly. Any numbers, like there wasn't a professional, personal, financial, any type of benefit that I've gotten from this and I have not wanted it. That's why I think I've tried every single thing. That That's a lie because you admitted to causing controversy when you're about to drop a new song. So that's a lie. I could do. And then the only thing that I felt like I had left was, okay, I guess I just have to f 
tell my side. But then halfway through that, I, I stopped. Yo, so the BS that she posted is 50% of what she wanted to do. Yo, can you imagine a hundred percent more of that BS content? Because even that I realized like, okay. This For those of you who don't know how to do math, doubling something makes it a hundred percent more than what it was. Just in case you didn't know math, just in case someone's like, <laughs> how is it 50% and a hundred percent? That's the math. This is not feeding my soul in the way that I wanted it to. That will affect your mental health. Of course. You know, I've been canceled and am canceled over and over again by the- Yes, you are, sir. I'm glad that he at least knows it and it doesn't, you know, he's not getting all teary-eyed about it. Canceled. But one thing we have not talked about, which I find sad and interesting is cancel culture has become so accepted in so many circles, especially when you're talking about politics on both sides that's normal i don't want to talk about this politics always has been and always will be a divisive topic of discussion like that's why you don't talk about it at the dinner table or whatever it's always gonna be divisive this is not new this is not cancel culture If you disagree, if you don't think the way that other people yes, think, right. you're right. instantly canceled. Right, right. You're not instantly canceled. Who? You're not instantly canceled. Mind you, there are people who have been canceled, but you're not instantly canceled. Especially, no, especially if you had, especially if you had a certain level, especially if you have a certain phenotype. Um, no, you're not instantly canceled. But also, this is not cancel culture. This is politics. That's the way it's always been. I mean, it's also weird to, to think about how in the United States, there was a whole reign of philosophy where if people even slightly suspect you might be left-winged, and being left-winged was associated with being communist, you literally could not work anymore. And, and it was enforced by a, a political official. The fact that that's America's history and, and people, and people are not freaking out with, oh my gosh, you didn't like that. Oh my gosh, I said I was a Donald Trump fan and now they're all after me. Like, it just kind of blows my mind. It just kind of blows my mind. Like, <laughs> it just kind of blows my mind. Like, who cares? This is normal. This is this is actually better than what it used to be. And I, listen, I grew up in Miami yeah. with a lot of family members. Yeah, yeah. You can't even have a conversation. I know. I, I don't align with their views. That's normal. That's still my family member. That and happens. still going to love you. And That's important. And I'm really glad you said that because there isn't enough love and disagreement. No, we don't need to talk about love and disagreement. You're not going to love the anonymous troll that's in your comment section like whatever Just like i came out here i was like i don't agree what you're saying about like when you're talking in person of course you're going to see the other person as a human being as you should you should have respectful dialogue all of this is just not this is not this does not need to be part of the conversation in my opinion Girls, that's why i came out a little bit heated because the you and i can disagree and we can have nothing but respect and love for each other i don't have much respect Gabby Hanna, do you respect Perez Hilton? You respect and love Perez Hilton? No, you don't. And that's a good thing. So thank you for just like pointing that out. We can all as human beings, and this is something I feel like we need to work on is empathy. Oh, yes. We want to try to figure out this whole new world and what we should change in it or how we can help it be better. And to me, what's especially scary is that, you know, we keep seeing now people in their 20s losing jobs over things they said when they were teenagers on social media mm. over a decade ago here to help us unpack that's not new either um ever since the inception of the internet and adults like older people using the internet that has been a thing that's not cancel culture that is like people not being able to get into college because 
Do you remember back when if you had a picture of yourself on Facebook with a red solo cup that could cost you college admission? Do you remember that? I just, I don't like listening to uh, these discussions about cancel culture because it's literally all over the place with incorrect definitions, incorrect examples, incorrect understandings, conflating cancel culture with things that are not related to it. And it's very annoying. This complicated issue is NYU communications professor Gabrielle Gam. Like, um, yes, you should. Like, if you were caught three years ago, you're saying, oh, something that they said 10 years ago. I don't know. Is there a, an example of somebody in their 20s who is losing their job because of something they said when they were eight years old? Um, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't heard about that. Um, what I usually hear about are people in their 20s losing their job because of something they said uh, a year ago, two years ago, three, four, five years ago, six years ago. Like, mm, these are relatively recent to me, um, unless a person has shown like a lot of change. Um, and that's, I think that's normal. Like, like if you have a service job and there's a video of you a couple of years ago showing that you have disdain for people of certain phenotypes, it makes sense for the company to no longer need your services because your customer will see that and not feel comfortable being serviced by somebody who's not going to like them because of their phenotype. Like that is normal. That is what companies do. Like that's what it, and like companies should do that. In my opinion, like you, there's certain, I mean, shoot, if Dave Ramsey can fire people because um, they were caught kissing somebody of the same gender, um, like definitely companies should be able to fire people who um, have very harmful um, apparent biases that would affect their work and customers. Umbrell, Professor how far does cancel culture go? Like, do, do you hold somebody accountable for things right, they said when they right. were children that didn't have an idea of what they were doing? It depends on how many people are coming to say, uh-uh, that's not okay. How many people are like, uh, I'll let that slide. As people. Yeah, definitely. This woman knows what she's talking about, actually, I think. No one is perfect. Right. And we recognize yeah. that no one is perfect. Mm -hmm. We talk about cancel culture. We talk about people's reputation, their credibility, and their profit. Why are you concerned with someone's credibility? Is it because there's a social impact element there? Mm. Is there because... Are they harming the world? Yes. Is someone doing something wrong where you're like, actually, we need to step in because I just did research and this is wrong. And hey, guys, I actually do need your help because justice needs to be done. I don't even necessarily think that cancel culture is a bad thing. I wouldn't call it cancel culture. I do believe that righteous indignation literally what are you talking about he just keeps bringing up all this random could be and often stuff. is a positive but what is disappointing is it seems like so often people's go-to is cancel first where's the line yeah what do you what what other go-to is there like uh, i don't like what you said hashtag cancel like yes that's their good what 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 do you want people to do? What, what literally? What is he talking about? What was the other go to? Okay. Oh, would he prefer? I don't like what you said. And without the hashtag cancel, is it because they put hashtag cancel after? I don't like what you said. That's that's the. <laughs> they're going to cancellation first. Like, what? What is the alternative? Think, please tell me what is the alternative if somebody did said something that we deem harmful what 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 should be the go-to perez since you got all these random ass ideas the line is determined by the public you know bill cosby is a convicted he was released from prison on a technicality mm -hmm. since his release he has announced plans to do a docu either series or film and 
go on tour, a stand-up comedy tour. I'm pretty sure it'll sell out. Why is he being allowed now to go on tour and do a Because he's not in jail. That's why he's allowed. See, that means he's not canceled. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what canceled is. Uh, my partner was trying to tell me the other day, oh, Dave Chappelle's canceled. I'm like, really? His show is still on Netflix. Canceled where? His show is still on Netflix. He's still getting this money. He's still getting this bread. Canceled where? Uh, on Twitter? Where everybody tweet whenever they fart? Mm. Like, we don't control. Like, we don't have control. Right? We're, we are voicing our opinion. And we would hope that people more powerful than us hear our opinion, but sometimes they don't care. Sometimes it's not important to them. Documentary. Yeah. And it really speaks to who's outraged, who's upset, who's trying to cancel you. So if we talk about one of the great. Yeah. Because if somebody in a powerful position was very upset, then they're not giving Bill Cosby a tour. But clearly somebody in a powerful position is not that upset. The dollar signs speak more, so they're going to give him a tour. Greatest entertainers of all time, Michael Jackson. Yes. You say Michael Jackson, I'm, I'm singing PYT like all right. day long. However, to some people, mm. if you say Michael Jackson, they may say, mm, don't play that here. They may bring up children. They may bring up certain things. Yeah. It's based on your perception or that community you're speaking to. Now, and it is really are, it is really based on the community because if Chrisette Michelle was a uh, well obviously if she was more mainstream I don't think she would have been canceled but her fan base um, most of her fan base was not going to vote for Trump it's like you're not in the position to safely do that because you have a certain fan base if you had a different fan base. They wouldn't give it. They wouldn't care that you like Donald Trump, or they would like that you like Donald Trump. So that's true. It does depend okay. on your people. Past and things resurface. You need to help your audience, help your community understand who you are today. Hmm. Another thing of cancel culture. Was yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you have to show that you are not the same. Like you have to show that you have developed in that area. Right. And so Perez Hilton shouldn't be surprised that he's being recanceled because he shows that he's not grown. Is your intent malicious? Are you being rude? Are you being disrespectful? And then that also gets to people talking about cancel culture or bullying. Because when you bully someone, if you are a bully, you are intentionally Bullies. trying to hurt someone and not necessarily right. give them better. Okay. So when it comes to cancel culture, yes. When is it too far? When someone is contemplating their life, when okay. someone is saying, this really hurt me, or, you know, do I deserve to be here anymore? Can I ever come back from that? That's where cancer culture can be dangerous. And again, I say, parents, we have to be aware of what our children are seeing, doing, how much time they're alone on the web. It's a very dangerous place. It really is so toxic and dangerous. I can't think of another resource like that that has ever existed mm -hmm. absolutely and i would like to hear final thoughts from the both of you perez i think one great solution is to really treat everybody like family and view them like a cousin or a brother or a sister and acknowledge i don't agree with that but you're still my brother you're still my cousin and if you view people that way you'll treat them and talk about them differently that's very important oh uh, dude can you take your own advice Shut up. Take your own advice. Or maybe that's what you would do to your family. You would out them before they're ready. Hmm? Is that what you're trying to say? Also, no. Um, the trolls in comment sections and the anonymous people and all that, they're not family. They're not my family. Um, I think I get what he's trying to say. I think he's trying to say, like, you know, view, humanize them. Like the, the person on the other end is a human being who have feelings. So think about that. I think that's what he's trying to say, but um, then just say that, you know, um, because some of us don't need to remember that human beings have families to not be a horrible person. Um, I always find it weird when, when people, when we're talking about something and 
and we're like, remember that that's somebody's daughter, that's somebody's son. Don't you have daughters? Don't you have sons? Don't you have brothers, sisters? D didn't you have a mom? Didn't you have a dad? Um, if you need to remember that you have family members, there's something, I, in my opinion, there's something wrong with you. Um, so I don't know, maybe that advice actually is useful for some people. I just think he should take his own advice. Jordan. What <laughs> type of society now where everybody is allowed to have an opinion and everybody feels really almost like they're supposed to have an opinion on everything. I think we just need to really lead with kind. That's the other thing. You got to remember that. Yeah. Like we're in an age where you can literally make it publicly known that you like the smell of your own farts. Um, so you don't need to take everything seriously. Like somebody can have a really dumb opinion about something that they know nothing about. They only have an opinion because they have the ability to post their opinion or have their opinion be heard. That doesn't mean they actually care about that topic. It doesn't mean they know anything about that topic. Um, so yeah, like I always try to remember that too. So you don't get too heated online. You just gotta remember, like you're. It's like giving a child. It's like giving a kid access to a candy store. Like, do they? Does that kid really like Jolly Ranchers? No, but it's there, so why not? Find this more, and also try to detach ourselves a little bit from the conditioning that we have with social media, which is this is all we're worth now. For me, at least, like so much worth came from numbers because when those numbers start slipping from five million views to one million, you're like, well, what am I doing wrong? And now you're in this cycle of trying to please everybody but yourself, and you lose your soul and yourself completely. And this is a lesson for all of us. We need to lower the temperature of our social discourse in every way. And we can't continue to silence or cancel someone just because we disagree with them. And I disagree. Um, yes, because telling telling us that we can't um, like say, because remember her definition of cancel is not actually cancel. Her definition of cancel is tweeting, hashtag canceled. Um, so you're trying to actually silence us. You're trying to silence the people who want to cancel someone. Because this is, I feel like they just really think cancellation is literally just a discourse. Like if people are having discourse about what you did, and there's a lot of people who disagree with you, you're canceled. And if that's the definition, then no, actually, let's not turn down the heat. Let's just let people have their opinions. <laughs> the only true way forward is to respectfully engage in an open dialogue Amen. that fosters growth, empathy, and compromise. Thank you. But that's the thing. You can't. Like, if you don't like what a celebrity did, you can't have an open dialogue with a celebrity. Like, all you can do is tweet into the ether what you thought. You can't have an open dialogue. This is the internet. This is not, like, a forum. This is not, like, a coliseum, Socrates, gather around, let's talk type of thing. This is, like, this is Twitter. This is online. You can't have a dialogue. If in real life, you can have a dialogue when you're face to face, when you're interviewing someone, you can have a dialogue, but not, um, not on social media, on social media, um, you are just screaming into the ether and whoever gets it, gets it. I don't know how protective this was. Thank you to all of our guests who joined the table today and to all of you for being with us. Human beings are gonna make. Well, mistakes. thanks. It's interesting to know that your show exists. Um, what did y'all think? How do I end this? Okay. Yeah. So I just had to make a video because that made me just feel like it made me feel like uh, I wanted to scream into the ether, and whoever hears it hears it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And leave a paw print emoji in the comments so that we know you were here. If you vibe with me, subscribe and stay tuned because I'm starting a podcast with somebody. I'm going to have a podcast with somebody. I'm really excited.
I'm actually so excited. Oh, actually, I like. Okay, I am going to get ready for bed. I'm going to eat something that's really not good for me. I'm going to enjoy it and revel in it. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.